Okay, besides so needing a haircut, this needs valve job. Yeah. Um, some of the, this is a 2008 or newer, uh, 9.3. Hey guys, uh, I want to talk really quickly about the valve job video. It's been a while, um, I've been behind on editing and I left some stuff out when I was filming the video and one of the main things is we saw that the valves um, were all just too worn and um, while we were trying to put them back in the head and uh, reseat them, um, that wasn't the issue. We just wound up buying all new valves and putting them all in intake and exhaust. Now, how do you know you need a valve job? Is um, that you need a valve job done? It's pretty much uh, your uh, 2.0 turbo four-cylinder 93s. You start it when it's cold and the car idles really rough, and then once it starts to warm up a little bit, it'll kind of go away. Um, you sometimes places will put um, coils and plugs in and it'll get a little bit better but it's still not great so um, why does it why do the valves go bad it's usually the intake valves that go bad the exhaust ones on this car were almost like brand new but we put them in anyways we put new ones in make sure because you wouldn't want to put it all together and then um, realize they're something's wrong with them or whatever just better off doing it right the first time so um, why did the intake valves go bad well on WIS there was a like to the technicians one of those pages or something a reading on there um, that said that the the manufacturer that they were using they changed for like 2008 9 couple years they changed who made the valves and those valves were not up to par the metal was too weak or just cheaply made or whatever happened they worn down to they wore down like really quickly um so what would happen is the um i'll try and put a picture of a valve up but the valve um would hit the seat and wear itself out really quick the face and the margin that's really thin um, would wear down and become like a like a bowl or the margin would get so thin on some of the valves I have a picture of one that the margin was just like it was just a razor blade sharp on the edges and what would happen is um, the valves would stick open a little bit when they would try and sit back in the seat it would just it it um, the valve stem itself it's almost like as if it grew because the sh the sh um the face got so little meat on it that um it would get pushed out a little bit too much causing it to um leak and then the valves would um it, it really wouldn't run right so this is how to fix that it's an expensive fix but you put new valves and it's like a brand new car so so I got the intake and the uh, inlet tube off the turbo, drain the coolant, got to drain the power steering fluid, take off the power steering pump, vacuum pump, fuel rail, wiring harness, tubes, all sorts of tubes. So pretty much this is a pretty easy job to take the head off. Remove everything, pull the head off. Two-step process. Everything's almost a two-step process. Um, while we're there, we're going to put another step and probably replace a water pump because they're a pain in the ass and you need like special tools to take the timing chain and do all this um, like special lock tools that hold the camshafts down um, so you don't lose time and stuff it's a bunch of crazy stuff a lot of stuff stuff I've been taking a lot of stuff off and putting it in a pile so, I got the harness off, fuel lines off, got the bracket out of the way, um, got a lot of other stuff to take off, unbolt the intake, I got the power steering pump off over here, got to take the vacuum pump off, take all, all the hoses to the head down here. Um, it was leaking oil, tripping out there, so 
that's why that rag is there. Um, I unplugged unplugged the O2 sensor because I have to drop the cat and then drop the uh, unbolt turbo off. So yeah, we're on step one right now. Um, we're gonna be at step two in a minute. All right, so this is it for today. We're stopping here. Um, I've been working until, well, it's 5.30 right now. So, you see I got a lot of stuff off on the top. So, unplug the injectors, gotta take the bracket off the bottom of the intake, take the intake off. Um, I don't know why I'm taking this off. These usually break. These are, these are pretty, they get pretty brittle. But, um, All right, we're back. Still no haircut. It's only been one night. But, gonna take the cat off. Take the exhaust off. All right, might be a little loud, but making a mess. Um, I got the cat off. Uh, had to take the like rear training mount or whatever. Bend it and pull the cat down. Um, I was just draining the oil here. So just draining the oil and about to take the turbo off. Um, and then start taking valve cover off. Spark plugs, so I haven't gotten to them yet. This is all loose. So, yeah, it's going pretty good actually. All right, so I've gotten the turbo off. Turbo's off, intake's off, taking out these now, then I'll take valve cover gas, uh, valve cover off. All right, super close. Couple more things to take off. Um, I think, uh, I don't know if it may be going there. They're stuck. Uh, I'm getting to the point, there's a, there's like a metal bracket right here I gotta take off. What? Or is that just solidly on the head? No, that comes off. Yeah. So I was thinking that, and then the I'm almost manifold. You leave it right on the head. Yeah, I'm pretty much got a little bit of a mess over here. Got the cat here. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I'm not an option. Oh, the heater. Yeah, heater's been broken in here, and it's one of those uh, used oil. I need a haircut. Um, it just gets really dirty and gummed up and whatnot, and it, everything breaks, and it's a pain in the ass. It wasn't a ridiculous amount of miles. Yeah. Looks pretty clean, like, pretty often they do their oil changes 120,000 ish miles. I have the cam lock tools in. Gonna take this mount off next. And then these three bolts, and then take the other bolts that hold the, the bracket onto the motor out. And then this, and then the guide. You can see, I think they were eight, E18s. Um, got these two out. Okay, literally only thing left is head bolts and these little bolts and then I'll need a, another hand to pull it out and then that's pretty much it. Order of removal and whatnot, we got all the head bolts out now. There's two in there, in the corners, and then these two, and then the 10 head bolts, and shit, I literally, that's that's it now. All I need is someone to help lift it off. I got everything else off. Just gonna have someone pry this away while we lift it up. It's cause the stupid dipstick I couldn't get out.
Probably got some water in it. It probably got some more water in it. Exhaust intake. Gonna clean up all the valves. Place the head gasket. Place all the valve stem seals. New cam bolts. New head bolts. Um, not sure which one this is for. Uh, take tensioner. Exhaust intake. This is what I was doing yesterday. All laid out in order. All laid out in order. So we gotta clean this up and get it ready to put back on the car. Alright, gonna lap all the valves, the valve stem seals, the new ones in, and clean it up. Make, put on this one because it's easier to see. You slip this over, do it one handed so. Take new valve stem seal and put it over and just slips right over this plastic thing. It's really easy with two hands. And then you pull You'll pull it off, it doesn't damage the seal or the valve, and you, then you push that in, but it's really hard with uh, one hand. And then, um, and then valve spring and keepers, but uh, yeah, I can't do that with one hand. Definitely not. That's almost like a three person hand to put the keepers in which are those little things. Okay, I'm about to put everything back in here. All clean. Okay, I'm gonna go get some All clean. Food. I'll be back, all right? All right. You put those lifters back in there? Yeah. You I'm, gotta make sure they're moved. Yep. I'm putting these all back together. Put the lifters back in. Some, uh, ATF, we don't have any of the um, assembly lube, so. Yeah, so I got the uh, roller rocker on the lifter and valve uh, stem. The gasket's off. I see the pistons stuck up above, see that? The pistons are higher than the deck. Yeah. yeah. Is this a floating deck? Because the way this is designed, yeah, it's open chamber, yeah, for cool. Yeah. Yep. I'll fucking clean all the bolt holes out. We're just taking those off, putting these on, and then gonna torque these down. Yep. Arrows that way.
Back on. Getting a new one of them. Uh, well, he's okay. ordering one more. It's coming from the auto store. Yep. He's gonna put it on. Was there a battery cover for it too or not? Um, I don't think he had one. Okay. Yeah. See, you're running, running brand new now. Smoke is just because we sprayed, um, well, we took the water to clean off this from any coolant that might have spilled, and there's usually a lot of um, penetrant stuff on the turbo and the exhaust that smokes off. If it sounds a little ticky, it's obviously because we just had it all apart, and oil's still got to work its way around, even though you cover it all with uh, oil and, and um,